Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Science for Young Minds with Marivit Education Center. This series is for Pratom 6. Let's learn some vocabulary words. You will learn how to spell and pronounce some vocabularies related to food nutrients. Here are some vocabulary words for today. Are you ready? Here we go. Food. Nutrient. Carbohydrate. Protein. Fats. Please repeat the word after me. Food. Good job. Let's spell it. F. O, O, D, food, great, food provides nutrients to our body, can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great. Please repeat the word after me. Nutrient. Good job. Let's spell it. N U T R I E N T. Nutrient. Great. Nutrients are the substances needed by our body for good health. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Protein Good job. Let's spell it. P R O T E I N. Protein. Great. Proteins are bodybuilding nutrients. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Carbohydrate. Good job! Let's spell it. C A R B O H Y D R A T E Carbohydrate Great! Carbohydrates are the body's main source of energy. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Fats. Good job. Let's spell it. F A T F Fats. Great. Fats are an important part of a healthy diet. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! You will learn to identify the six types of nutrients and describe their benefits. Also, you will learn about specific food that are rich in a specific nutrient. Food 
helps us to grow and gives us energy. But how do we get the energy we need from the food? Do you have any idea? Food provides nutrients to our body. Nutrients are the substances needed by our body for good health. There are six types of nutrients that we will learn today, namely carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, water. These are essential nutrients that our body needs for us to grow, develop, and be healthy. In this first lesson, we will learn the first three types of nutrients. So class, fasten your seatbelts now as we explore the world of nutrients. First up, we have carbohydrates. Have you heard this word before? Maybe you heard already the word carbs. Don't you know that an active person needs more carbohydrates than a less active person? Yes, that's right. If the person does not have enough carbohydrates, he feels tired easily. This is the reason why you easily feel hungry and tired every time you have finished a lot of things, like when you exercise or you help your mother in cleaning the house. Can you give me examples of food that are rich in carbohydrate? Okay now, I will give you some examples of food that are rich in carbohydrates. We have rice. Most Asian people really love to eat rice. We also have bread, noodles, biscuits, fruits, potatoes, and corn. Have you eaten one of these foods lately? If yes, then you have already the nutrient carbohydrates in your body. Fiber is a type of carbohydrates. Fiber cannot be digested by our body. Fiber helps the food we eat to move properly through our stomach and intestines producing soft stool. Without fiber class, our stool will be hard and difficult to be passed out, a condition in which a person experiences difficulty in passing out stool is what we call constipation. These are examples of food that are rich in fiber. We have vegetables, weight bread, and fruits. Proteins. Have you heard about this nutrient before? If yes, can you give me an example of food rich in proteins? Proteins are the bodybuilding nutrients. They are needed for growth and repair. Proteins can also provide energy but only when the body does not have enough carbohydrates and fats. Growing children, adolescents, and expecting mothers need more proteins. So what are examples of foods rich in proteins? These are the foods that are rich in proteins. Fish, meat, eggs, beans, milk, nuts, and cheese. 
Are your answers correct? Just a trivia for everyone. Serious lack of proteins in a child's diet can lead to an illness called kwashiorkor. Children suffering from this illness usually have round faces and big abdomens. However, they have weak muscles. Kwashiorkor can have a long-term impact on a child's physical growth and, in severe cases, affect mental development. Let us move on to the next nutrient, fats. Have you heard this nutrient before? If yes, can you say something about fats? What do you know about fats? Here are some important things that you need to remember. Fats are an important part of a healthy diet. They are another source of energy for our body. The layer of fats under our skin keeps us warm. Fats help to maintain healthy skin and hair. Fats are also part of our body cells. Can you give an example of foods rich in fats? These are examples of food rich in fats. Cooking oil, cheese, peanuts, and butter. Do you have the same answer with me? Yes. You have already learned the first three types of nutrients, namely carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Our next lesson will be about vitamins, minerals, and water. Thank you and see you in the next episode.